Confusion here with another video. Now, I've gotten this kind of request for a real long, for a whole lot. Um, it's not really a request, but you guys do ask questions about this. So I'm actually going to show you or um, tell you what I actually do use to edit my stop motions or just regular kind of videos in general. Now, I do use two softwares, which is Windows Movie Maker and then HitFilm for Express. Um, my main ones to do a whole lot of crazy edits and all that kind of stuff is hit film for express movie uh, windows movie maker you don't get to have a lot a lot of options but it is good if you're uh, just a beginner but uh, first I am actually going to introduce to you is move is windows movie maker like I said this doesn't have a lot of options so it's not like you could overlay two kind of videos and just have and, and just do that okay this doesn't let you let you do that at all so that's one thing that's not good about this software but it is really easy to use now uh, you could do some uh, kind of stop motions or you could just get any kind of videos we'll just get this one it's pretty long so we're gonna have to wait for it when that is actually waiting to load um, I'm actually going to show you um, how I do make my thumbnails now I usually just make it by what YouTube actually provides me or I will make it with paint.net and pick arcs Pix art, something like that. What, however, you say this thing name. Um, main, t the main one I actually do use is this one for um, the text, the other kind of other things. Now this is just to format the picture to the right size and the uh, right format has to be so I could upload it onto YouTube. Now Pix art is just this kind of thing, it pops up like this. Now you could do an editor collage or remix I have not used remix before so I have no idea what that is collage you just make your own um, I don't really know how to explain it but if you guys want to want me to explain that um, I will but we're just going to go with editor then you see all my recent kind of pictures that I uh, edit and stuff like that some of them are uh, things that you don't actually need to know because that's for future kind of videos um, but we'll just go to recent, um, choose from gallery, that's the main one I actually choose from. Now we'll just go with Lloyd right here. And as you can see, you do have all these kind of tools and stuff like that. You, you also have more other tools, you have adjustments, tools, effects, magic, mask, lens flare, shape mask, add image stickers, add text, and collage. The main one I actually do use is add text and lens flare, and sometimes effects as well. Um, I think those are the only ones I actually do uh, use, but we're just going to add text, and then we'll put Lloyd. And over here you could actually change your color to whatever you want. You could totally also make your color like that this dot wherever you want to go whatever kind of color you want it to be you could resize it you could turn it around you all that kind of fun stuff but like that and over here on the bottom you have is some fonts now I do uh, like this kind of font a whole lot to be honest with you so I will probably use that font a whole lot my videos are just thumbnails in general another one that I would actually like to use is this one as well it's a good cartoon kind of look now um, we're going to apply that to it down next we're going to add image go to recent again and then choose from gallery and then we'll probably just put uh, an arrow Boom, you got an arrow right there. You could point it to where you want it to be at, and then, boom, Lloyd. Um, so yeah, I think that's actually all you can actually do. You could resize it as well. You can see right there. I don't think you could change. Oh yeah, you could actually change the color of the arrow. Sometimes, uh, with some of your pictures, it won't let you. Um, so that's something. Now, opacity is just the, how much you could actually see it. Uh, shadow blur is just just black kind of shadow as you can see you could position it you could also do that with um, the text if you want more info on this kind of app I will actually do that for you guys but we'll just apply it 
and then go to save right here yes I don't have internet I'm just going to go to gallery and then name it whatever you want make sure it is actually PNG kind of file then you see save then you can exit out of it and go to your desk your um, folder kind of things go to pictures and then try to find your picture which I'm going to have trouble because I did not give it a proper name uh... where in that get the picture at? okay the first letter was in out oh, there it is found the picture there you have it right there now like I said I do put it in the right format with paint.net so you can open that up now here you have a wonderful kind of um, layout right here so that's actually pretty good you have history layers colors and tools um, that too is tools now you will have to go to resize it with canvas size uh, put it to the right um, width and height that actually actually YouTube uh, says it for it which is 1276 to 756 I'm gonna have it right there now this is probably the confusing kind of part um, depends how big this picture was it will probably fit onto here but probably will not fit fit onto um, this paper but I can assure you that there is actually a way to make it fit and now I gotta look for the picture again it is here. So if it does not fit, you can copy it and then paste it onto this. Oh, look at that. See right there? You can see that it uh, blew up the size of this paper. So we're going to have to undo what we just did with this arrow right there. Then go back to the folder. Right click go to copy and then you see this kind of clipboard right there with the paper go to paste and then you're going to want to keep want to uh, push keep canvas size so we'll keep the size of the paper but then you will have to fix the picture so it can fit as you can see it's a little smush but it's okay because we have the knowledge and the power to make it fit put it the way you actually do want it and then boom you have it good and then next you just have to go to file save as then we'll give this a pop proper name Sogloid it's already at the PNG then save show you all of this then click OK then be saving and then now you have it saved then now you can go back to over here, click pictures again. Um, now you gotta go down all the way to the S's and hopefully you find it right there. Okay, so change of plans. I am actually going to pick a new video because that video was actually taking pretty long to load. Now what I'm the video that I'm actually gonna put is on my Lego villain whatever thingy it's called. You see, you have it all like that. Okay, so we have that video. Now you could do um, this kind of thing for a title of your video. Um, I don't really use that a whole lot. What I actually do use is this kind of animation. So, yeah. Then you could actually um, go to edit. No, yeah go to split so we'll split that section so you can put a picture or another video in between um, like I said it can't overlay so you can't actually do that then you can also put a title just go to captions right here under the word title as you can see um, you can put whatever you want uh, wait, sorry my bad and then you can change the fonts um, we'll just go to this kind of thing or not that thing you can change the size of how you want it to be, change the color, yellow, change how you want the, um, how for it to come inside. 
you also give it an outline. I, I always usually use medium. Like that. And you could also do the duration of the text so you could put it how long you want it to stay. And yeah, you could also add music inside as well. Um, we'll just add this song. It won't mess up anything with the text as you can see, so that's pretty good. So yeah, it will go all the way down to where it will stop. And then you could put more other kind of music inside. If you want more kind of things with this kind of uh, editor, I, I could actually do that for you guys. But now let's get on to HitFilm 4 Express. Right here, this is what you get whenever you open up the HitFilm 4 Express. You could, you have new open user guide. Now, um, as you, like I said, I don't have the internet. So, um, with internet, you could actually see a whole lot of tutorials and other kind of stuff, um, add-ons as well. Um, so sorry that you can't actually see it right now, um, but all you have to do is just go to new, wait for it to load. Now what I do is that I don't mess with anything over here, I just go to start editing, and then wait for the page to load again. Now as you can see, you do actually have like a steps kind of thing, you have home, project, and edit, that's where we are at. Now whenever, it goes, whenever we're done to export, we will just have to click on this and then um, we'll get to that in later kind of details. Now you go to import, uh, just pick a picture or whatever you want. I, don't, I actually don't really do pictures, I usually do videos on the videos that I was actually going to do to uh, make it good. Make it sure is JTOX2 we could just put. Um, you could actually add on a whole lot of other kind of videos as well, so we'll just get my intro. Where's my intro at? Right there. Now, in this one, you could actually overlay videos. Now, I will actually, um, actually won't show you that, but if you guys do want more uh, details on this, you could actually look up uh, tutorials of how to how to do that on YouTube or just whatever or if you want me to do it um, I could actually do it for you too just click yes then you'll see it pop up right there and then you just have a preview of the video right there now you could actually make this a little bit more bigger so you could put some parts that you actually do want inside so uh, we'll go all the way to the video right there as you can see then you're just gonna go to this kind of um, to right there the slice tool you're gonna slice this now you're just gonna go to effects um, I'm just gonna show you some effects not all kind of effects you wanna go to transitions videos you do have to solve uh, motion, swipe, zoom, fade to color, iris. I do use um, fade to color a whole lot. Then you can see that working. And also, you could totally take this off. Just right click, click delete, and then you could totally get that out. And then you get your other kind of video. It's too big, as you can see. You could actually do this as well. It's a good way to actually overlay the videos. You could totally uh, make it that small as well. Now we do have my intro into it. Like that. Then you could also just do some effects on it as well. Fade. I think it really does have a fade effect, but if you want, you could honestly just do it again, and then you just gonna want to go to import, go to MP4, then export, 
then you're going to want to title this whatever you want it to title it go to save and then depends oh it's going it's actually not taking a long time which is kind of crazy now I actually did do a mistake now I don't know if this um that video that we just kind of edit will actually pop up because um I don't know if this happens with a, a other kind of people but this does actually happen to me if you don't put the um uh, the bar where you could go to whatever kind of section uh, in the video that you're editing or whatever if you don't put that all the way to the beginning then it won't actually um put out the video for you or export the video or just have a black screen um so that's probably something that might actually occur um right now but i will actually show you some uh, kind of things that i did make with the app or the software um this episode I did make and so on you see that little effect right there with Lloyd's power you could actually do that inside um, this software as well if again want more tutorials on it um, go search it up online or if you want me to do it for you guys um, just let me now as you can see it is actually all done exporting but like I said from the warning um, that I did give you a little while ago um, you just have to click OK um, I don't really press play just go to OK, and then you can close out the software, go to disk card, wait for it to close, then go back to where you have your folders, go to videos, um, let's see if it actually did it or not. It might just stay in one kind of screen. Oh. Oh, look at there, it actually did do it. Wow. Okay, I'm a little surprised. So yeah, that's um something good about that software. Like I said, if you actually do want more um kind of uh, tutorials or whatever on any kind of things that I did mention look it up or if you guys want me to do it I will show you guys as well but I think that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys like and subscribe for more like reviews stop motions or if you guys have anything you want me to do just put it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to do it for you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye